the second screw. And now, starting from here, I'm going to start prying off the cover things up like that. And you know, keep on praying around and cover should come off. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the hard drive. Moving the hard drive is just pull it up by this rubber enclosure. Wait, there's something on it. Okay. Like that. Disconnect. This connection should be easy. All right, now you have to remove that enclosure, rubber enclosure. Shouldn't be too easy. Oh, up. Like that. And it's out. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this and enclose it. The rubber enclosure. And close the plate so it would go like this, like that, like that. When you grab your new hard drive, like that, and align it with the holes. Oh, first you gotta this hooks, this slide in first, like that. And then you push it down like that and you basically are ready to check your drive again I'm gonna start from the bottom this time let's see how that shouldn't be too difficult snap 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 and before I finalize the snapping, I want to see if my new drive works. And then I'll finish up the snapping. Okay, let's see if the new drive will turn on, which I clone. So far it's turning on. This drive was extremely slow. 54 RPMs, then it took me about well, approximately 10 minutes to load everything up so let's see how long it's gonna take to load everything up on this one already I see a big difference and it is loading up much faster so I'll just finish up with with uh, screwing things back on and there you go after migrating my my operating system to SSD, the computer became much faster. Uh, that's all for this tutorial.